Um, if we click them at the same time, it'll do red and blue together at the same time. Um, so I'm hoping that when you're making your game, you can make it draw. You can, you can draw some of the squares, I think is what you're doing, at the same time you're drawing the others. And that way, um, it'll go twice as fast. Welcome everyone to another C Sharp programming tutorial. And this one we're going to be doing multi-threading. Um, this is actually a tutorial I'm making for someone in spe uh, someone specifically, one of my, su I think he's a subscriber. Pretty pause about that. Anyways, in the comments he said um, he wanted to make his game run faster that he was doing, and it was drawing and it wasn't very fast or something. I don't remember the exact details. Um, but his name was Cor... Osis, I think, or Corosis. It was Coro, Coros, Corios. Cor I don't know, but I'm I'm pretty positive that's how it was spelled. Um, you can tell me <laughs> because this is for you. Um, but it's multi-threading, so let's start this Windows Form application. And a lot of people have been telling me you should do console and actually program, but truth be told. Um, Programming with a console is just a waste of time. I mean, that's my opinion. I know some other people might have different opinions, but I'm gonna have two buttons here. Um, we'll call this one red and the other one blue. And I mean, I could spend hours programming my own. In fact, I am working on my own form thing right now, but um, I don't really want to do that for tutorials and stuff. So. That's not happening. All right. Um, I'll just make it small here, and that one, and that one. All right. Now to start out with multi-threading, and I'll zoom in here. You add a using statement it says using uh, system dot threading, and then you just you know semicolon like usual, and then we'll go down here and basically what a thread does, and I'll explain. Basically what a thread does is um it starts a well what would you call it a a um a separate um thinking piece in the computer um i would call it a separate thread but then maybe it wouldn't make sense um but basically what happens is it will process separately from the rest of the processes so for instance if i do a thread here Red th, which is called th. I'll need two actually. Red th1. Yay. We'll just do an example here. Uh, th equals. Actually, I won't multi thread yet. For my ti, and I'll give you an example here of something that you'd want to multi thread. Well, i is less than, let's say, 100. Um, i plus plus statement there and then we'll do um, thread dot sleep and that's gonna for like probably 10 I think and what that is going to do is um, make it pause the program pause first so that you can see um, what happens and we'll do that actually not for 10 but 100 so I can actually show you um, so if I do click this button It'll pause the whole thing. I can't use any of these buttons. Everything's frozen up because the thread that these are put on is processing right here. It's being processed at the moment and you can't do anything. Now you can now that's ended. But anyways, if you want so that you can do more than one thing at a time, do public void thread, you make a method like this. You copy the code you want it to do right out of there into there. Oops, copy the wrong thing. B, just like that. And then, um, then what we do here, and oh, I should probably lowercase so it doesn't interfere with that. All right. Is in here, we do th equals new thread. And put thread, the method name without the parentheses in there. 
So you can name this whatever you want as long as you put in there and it's a void function and has no parameters. Um, it'll run. And then what we could do is, in fact, we'll do um, down here we'll do message box dot show so that you can see what happens when it completes and I'll show you how we can do more than one at a time. Completed. And this is red button one, so that's th. I think that's I think that's a red button, isn't it? Yes, red. Completed red. All right. Now we can go up here. We can click that, and we can still move the form around. Click all the other buttons. Click that again if we want, and then we'll wait. Give it a second while it's thinking, and it should be about ten seconds until. Sleep a hundred. Yeah, that should be that should be ten seconds. Um, wait, did I? Oh, I didn't start it. Okay, that's why. Th dot start. Gotta remember to start it. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, we can click this, move the form around, click that, click that again, and wait, and then in about uh, a second or two here. Yeah, yeah there we go. It pops up, and, and that thread had completed, and then the next, because I clicked this twice, completes. So that was processing while I was doing everything else. And they're processing at the same time as each other were, and that way, for instance, with graphics, you can actually um, you can actually draw at the same time, and it'll make it a lot faster and look a lot smoother. So um, I hope this is helping you. So we need another thread here, and I'm going to do an example of drawing. Um, those um, different, and this will be blue. blue, and we'll do thread B for thread blue, and then in, I'll just copy this, and move it down here, copy and pasting saves so much time, and this is actually thread 1 that I want, and this is thread B for blue. So um, this button will start the red, and this will start the blue. Alright. And you'll understand why I'm calling it red and blue in a second here. Let's do this. Dot create graphics. There we go. Dot draw rectangle. New pen uh, brushes. Dot um, this is red, I think. Yeah. And we'll make it four pixels in size. And then uh, new rectangle. And then I know. Maybe we shouldn't be using as many of these new things. We should be redefining it because if you do that, and this is another piece of advice, if um, you're making a game and you're having it refresh every couple seconds or actually a couple times every second, you want to use as few new keywords as possible, especially with bitmaps because it will chew up your memory like really quickly. Um, but anyways, I'm just going to do it because it's just a little amount of memory here. New rectangle, and then we're going to new another new thing, random, because I want it randomly placed on the screen, screen, um, dot next, and then from zero to this dot width, and then, um, I'm going to copy this, because copy and pasting saves so much time, like I said, and we'll do that in this dot height, and then we have, um, two more things to do, we'll make them 20 by 20 in size, and width and height of the rectangle. Um, and I think I need one more of those in that. And is that done? Yes, it is. Okay, and then we'll do a pause of, eh, yeah, 100 is fine. And then um, down here, you can just add this to it. Oh, I don't need that second thread asleep. And this one, the pen is going to be blue. Blue just like that and I think I have it set up let me look over my code yeah okay it's set up to um, do everything correctly except for um, that's not registering that it's being used there but whatever when I hit this it will know all right so let's make this big so you guys can see um, we cook red the red starts and oh oh I know why I did that <laughs> in just a second let me fix that oops Height, width, height, width. 
what did I do? Oh, you know what? Eh. Well, let's actually define that random because that probably was causing you. Okay, so random RDM. Okay, and um, yeah, form dot load. We'll use that. Okay, random equals new. Okay, RDM DM equals new random just like so and then um, we're going to replace all those new randoms with uh, RDM because I think that was my problem I could be completely wrong but I think I, I think I'm right <laughs> we will see so come on there we go no so that's one thing I dislike about this. It goes all the way back to the beginning. If you don't get it right, all right, that should be fine. It's big, click red. Oh yeah, that, that was a problem. So it puts like, I think it's something like 100 of these around, as you can see. And then it's completed red, right? And if I click blue, it puts about 100 of these around. And in about 10 seconds, it'll be, it'll say that it's completed. But, and I'll actually go ahead and clear this again, exit out and start up again. Um, if we click them at the same time, it'll do red and blue together at the same time. Um, so I'm hoping that when you're making your game, you can make it draw. You can, you can draw some of the squares, I think is what you're doing, at the same time you're drawing the others. And that way, um, it'll go twice as fast. Or you could do 100 threads and make it 100 times as fast. Well, sort of. Um, not not entirely true there, but but sort of true. Um, so I hope this has helped you, and that is my tutorial for now. And I will show you, here's, I keep saying I'm going to put up the code somewhere where you guys can get it, um, but I don't know if I want to do that yet. So here it is, I'll go down here, and you can see as I move down and look at it, Got all the pretty code so that you can see it and write it down if you want to. All right, that's all for now, and I hope this has helped you. So, and, and please just tell me if it has, and if there's any more questions, just put it down in the comments. And to everyone else, if there's something you want to ask and you want me to do a tutorial just for you, um, go ahead. Uh, just send me a, a question, and if I can do it or if I have the time to do it, I'll do it. This was really quick, easy for me. So that's why I did it. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed this. And that's all for now. Uh, bye.